All right, we know Roblox is super dry right now and Weak Legacy 2 proves that to me in spades. So we're gonna dive into it. Weak Legacy 2 is a new game, which is not really a new game and is definitely not worth wasting your Robux or time on it. So what is the point of Weak Legacy 2's release? Honestly, it feels like a quick cash grab. The map is only slightly different from its predecessor. And as far as I can tell, there's nothing new genuinely added. Maybe just snake breathing and I think that's it. The rest is just quality of life changes mostly. As I said, the only big change to the game is a slightly better map and I think snake breathing, everything else is pretty much negligible and just quality of life improvements, which are good mind you, but not a whole new game. From what I hear that the author had to make a new game because he got bans. So this is basically just a continuation of Weak Legacy 1, but since it's a re-release, people pretend it's a new game. You know how it is on Roblox. And I understand that a lot of people, this is all new. And looking at the current player count of 6k, I expect most to leave in around one week when they realize there really isn't anything special about this game besides a demon slayer, bandit beating with bad AI game. Now, the gameplay loop is pretty simple and repetitive. You just get a quest from a giver, beat up demons that barely fight back, lose aggro in two feet, and just walk towards you. Then you grab another quest and repeat the process. This is just bandit beating, and if your name isn't Bloxroots, people ain't doing it. Which isn't true because this game has six play players right now, but <laughs> moving on. Now, I'll give the game credit for having 10 breathing styles, which is a lot for a Demon Slayer game, and six Demon Arts. No one really uses Demon Arts, but they're there if you want to. So I'll give it game credit for that, especially for its visuals. They're decent enough. They're pretty good. While I do think all breathing styles are viable for this game being an absolute cakewalk thanks to the AI just being dumb. Besides sun breathing, V1, which it does require you killing a boss first, it's not that hard. And you can just hit up and run because of how bad the AI aggro range is and how dumb they are. They don't even attack you until you do hit them. It's just really, really bad AI. And ironically, I think sun breathing V1 is one of the worst styles. It just can't combo well and then you just get stung up by the AI and die. So, uh, don't... I don't recommend using Sun Breathing V1, literally just use any of the others. But here's the kicker, if you want to try another breathing style, you're out of luck. You have to either fork up 100 Robux or hope there's a code. So you better choose the one you want right at the start of the game because, well, you gotta pay 100 Robux or wait for a code. So uh, better uh, like using those same four moves and nothing else for the whole game. Now, there is some stuff in the end game, like the Demon Slayer marks, it's not really end game, it's like level 100 or something, it's not that far. And they look cool and they increase your damage for a short while, but they don't change gameplay besides a number boost. The only thing they do in this game is increase your damage and allow you is farm bosses for drops and the final selection exam and the final selection exam. There's nothing else to do besides that. Like after you hit level 100, the whole game just turns into boss farming simulator all the way up to how many levels? I think 600, 500, too high, too high because it's the levels. It's just not fun. AI is stupid, you, just, it's not, you don't, can't kill him fast enough for it to be fun, you just walk back. It's just, it's just annoying. Now, let's talk about the Gord minigame. This is like one of the other few things this game has. Well, it's not really a minigame, it's more of hold G and press Gord X number of times to make your breathing bar go up faster and have more. I use a macro for this because by the last one you have to breathe and use the Gord a hundred times. That's busy work at its finest, like, I'm not doing that by hand, it'll hurt my fingers. So in conclusion, I don't expect this game to last longer than two weeks max. The visuals on the moves are nice, but other than that, it's just a bandit beater with okay-ish Demon Slayer paint job. I, I, I recommend saving your Robux in time for something more rewarding. Save your Robux in time for something more rewarding, because this is definitely not it. Go play like any other Demon Slayer game I, I would say is better. Also, I'm sorry for this video just having, like, nothing to talk about. This game genuinely just has nothing to talk about. I'm sorry about that. So, uh, if you liked it, subscribe, Zayzels and Zayzets, and see you in the next video.